Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars The Old Republic Sith, as I was calling it. Um, so, just to give a little update, we've had Christmas in between the last time we recorded an episode. Haven't been on in about a week. We'd just gotten out of the starting zones and um, I think basically we felt like, like, what the hell is going on with this game now? It's just kind of exploded in complexity and all the things that we have to learn and understand and uh, yeah I still haven't really got to grips with it. It's it's a bit like the first time I was playing WoW and Rift I guess because that was a bit mad once you did the starting zones. So um, just been having a look at talents, uh, advanced classes and professions so, but first, before we do that, I think we should talk about Garthus because he's deleted his Sith Warrior and he's recreated it as a. Uh, what are you? A sniper. Uh, what, what are they called? Imperial. Imperial agent, agent sniper. Female. Hello. Um, where's your dude? I don't. Oh, I've sent sent him on a mission. Okay. Right, so uh, the sniper I think is very similar to the smuggler gunslinger, I think. I have no idea. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know the gunslinger gets a very similar shield, apart from it's blue. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I've picked assassin, but I'm going to be tanking and immediately looking at the talent tree. Uh, there's a lot of options there. I've immediately picked the wrong option. Um, I didn't really want to put these points here, but it reduces damage, so I'll keep them there for the time being. Might relearn them if I can later. In terms of professions, I've I've not really looked into them all, but I'm going to be picking biochem as my main crafting profession. Um, primarily because I'm thinking about other MMOs, and this is one that usually continues to make money all through the game, even end game. Um, okay, so I've... how do I get to my professions? Crew window, biochem, okay, so I can make some health potions and some stim packs, just like the basic stim packs. Um, and then under, hmm, let's have a look at some of the other professions because we can get into into the codex. It will tell us what professions go well with it. So, biochem. It's suggesting gathering skills, bioanalysis, biochemical samples and compounds, and mission skills, diplomacy, medical supplies. So let's go and pick those up as well. Gathering skills, bioanalysis, and diplomacy. I don't know where those two are. So yeah, it's kind of this is this reminds me a bit of like Undercity or Ironforge. It's a bit more uh, intelligently laid out. What's bioanalysis? Skills. Bioanalysis, yeah. So let's train that. And we want diplomacy. Okay. Um. This is a bit confusing for me, but, um. So apparently what we've got here is we can only have one crafting profession and two essentially gathering type professions. So the first one, we need items to make items, it's crafting, that makes sense. For the gathering ones, it looks like we don't actually do the gathering. We get our, our companion or companions to do that for us. So in this case, we can actually get What's he called? Kem Val. He'll go off and do that mission there. That's how long it'll take him. That's how much it'll cost us to do it. 
And this is what all his stats will, our stats, how they'll change when he does it. If we look at diplomacy, we've actually got plus, uh, light and dark side alignments as well. So I don't have any of that. It might be because it's diplomacy, I don't know. But um, I get. Yeah, so. So basically, um, I should be doing these, I think, straight away. Stop messing about and just send him on to do that. So, how do I actually tell him to do it? Just click on it. Oh, send companion at the bottom. Uh, so, let's send him off to do that. Be that way soon. And he disappears. If later in the game we can get more companions, so. Um, and they, they offer different roles. So, as I'm going to be tanking, ideally I want a companion who will be healing or be doing damage. I think Kem Val is more of like a tank companion. So at the minute it's not massively important that he's by my side. What is your companion? What Tank in the zone. Kaleo. So, I mean that's good. I mean, uh, as we'll see, I think we're going to go and do the first flashpoint in a minute. We'll see that we probably need a number of different tanks anyway. Because I don't really have tanking skills at the minute. Um. Never mind. So, um, do you want to go and do the first flashpoint? Yes. Um, are you going to Drummond Cass? I think that's, that's where, where I had to go. Yeah. Oh, the actual. Yeah, the. Uh, the flashpoint is Cass. the shuttle to Drummond Cass. Yeah, I think. Yes. Or you could just fly there, right? Yeah, but we want to do the flashpoint. Because we'll get uh, loads of XP. I'm just trying to work some out. Isn't it? Well, I, um, I'm still getting used to the, all the bloody which frame does what and all that crap. Yeah. I think I'm not too sure what the the, the status on add-ons is for this game. I'm not sure whether they've out outlawed them as such, or whether they're just gonna. Do the same approach as Rift, where they kind of leave the game without add-ons for a little while, and then they'll add like an SDK or something at a later point. At the minute, I think we like really need some action bar add-ons, but we're gonna have to wait. So, um, oh, this might interest you. Yeah, I don't know if you've got. With your scavenging, or maybe with your herb thing or whatever. Bioanalysis. Yeah. On my bag now, I have this thing called res reverse engineering. Yeah, it's like disenchanting. Yeah, and I can like disenchant guns and so I get the mats out of it. Yeah, so what, what you'll see it, when we go to the flashpoint, you'll see a need, greed, disenchant, or reverse engineering kind of interface pop up. It's exactly the same as WoW and Rifts. So that's pretty good. So hopefully, because there's only going to be two of us doing, well, at least this first one. What's happened there? You just shared a quote. Oh, he's returned. <laughs> Mission complete. Kemval successfully completed the assignment and has returned. And he's come back with a stack of two green goo. Fantastic. Well done, Kemval. Um, so green goo, I think we can use that for a med pack. So that's nice. Um, yeah, so that, a quick video there. I think we don't really need to go into too much detail at this point. This is the Imperial Fleet Viking space dock. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, we'll no doubt be back here in the future. Next episode, we'll do a flashpoint. See you then.